In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can animate an object along a curve by using a follow path constraint. I already have this drone animated, having its uh, propellers spinning rapidly. All right. So I'm going to have the drone spinning at a fast speed. So I'm going to have the animation start at 500. Right, and I'm going to press home so I can view the range. Right, so I'm going to create a path so that the drone can follow the path. So I'm going to press shift A and create a basic curve. Then go to edit mode and press S to scale up the curve. Take note of where the normal lines are pointing. So in this case, right, the path will be traveling this direction. Right. So with the path now created, I'm just going to press R followed by Z to rotate it so that I can have the drone to follow along this path. Right. Next, you want to have the pivot point of the curve to be at the beginning. Right. So go to object mode, no go to edit mode first and then select the beginning vertex. Press Shift S and have the cursors move to the selection. So go to cursor to select it. Now the cursor is at this position. With the cursor at this position, go to object mode by pressing tab, then right mouse click and set origin to 3D cursor. Okay, I'm gonna turn on my other shortcut tools. All right. So how do we get the drone to be following the curve? All right, I'm going to limit my animation range to be maybe 500 to 600. Just keep, or maybe 500 and 700. All right, so just keep it small. Then now I'm going to attach the drone using a constraint by attaching it to this uh, curve. So go to the constraint panel with the object selected, go and click on add a follow path. Use the eyedropper to pick the path. All right, and right now you notice that the drone has gone to the beginning of the path, which is the first vertex. Now to animate it, we must first keyframe the offset. Now the offset, if you click on fixed position, uh, is a value between 0 and 1. So 0 is the beginning of the path, 1 is the end of the path. So we want to animate this value by setting keyframe. So at frame 500, I'm going to press I to set a keyframe and then you scrub forward to seven frame 700 and then you can click and drag this value to 1 and then can, you can press I to set a keyframe. So now you can see within this uh, 200 frames, you can see the drone flying along the path. But you notice that it is just moving linearly, it is not following the path. So if you go to the constraint properties, you can activate follow curve. But now you notice that the drone is pointing the other way around. But the constraint has options for you to flip this around and since it's moving in the y-axis we can flip it along the y-axis now we have it moving in the correct axis all right so we can now change some options for example if the, we want the drone uh, trajectory to change we can select the curve itself and go to edit mode okay go to curve itself go to edit mode select the entire curve by pressing a and then we can press w no, w is actually the old special key so that doesn't work anymore so unless you're in the right mouse button selection mode so old habits so the way to subdivide right now is right mouse click and subdivide so I'm going to click on the center vertex press G followed by Z and then you can see that now the drone is following the path this is almost like a roller coaster right? And you can actually move the vertex around in 3D and it will still follow very nicely. So what if you want a drone to say maybe uh, stop right at this point and let it hover 
So how would you do that? So you have to go to the craft editor to to be able to do that. So go to the animation tab, okay, and select the object, in this case the drone, and then you'll be able to see the keyframes. Now press your home key so that the curve will be uh, shown to you from factor 0 to factor 1. And if you want to add another extra keyframe within the path editor, hold down to your control key and right mouse click to actually add another keyframe. Now, you can see that when there is movement, there is a constant change in the curve. Now, if there is nothing, when there is no movement, the curve will be flat. So I'm going to move forward just a little bit, and then I'm going to hold on to Control and, middle, and right mouse click to add another curve or add another keyframe. So right now, this keyframe doesn't do anything because the drone is going to continue to move. But because right now I have two keyframes, two keys, I can scale them in the graph editor, press S followed by uh, Y in this case and 0 to flatten it. So now the drone will fly and gradually slow down and then you hang around during the flat region and then you gradually pick up speed and fly off again. So the time which you want the drone to stay put, you have to increase the distance between the frames. For example, if I want the drone to stay put between 590, so I'll press G followed by X. Remember, in the graph editor, we only have the X axis and the Y axis. And then uh, for, let's say I want it to hang around from 590 to 610, then I'm going to grab this key, press G followed by X, and move it to 610. So right now, the drone is going to stay at frame 10, 590 to 610 and then it's going to move off again. Okay, so like any other graph editor, you can change the properties uh, of the curve okay, by pressing V. And if you change the vector, this will be a straight line. I'm going to change everything to vector. So the drone now will be moving in a constant speed. And then it's going to stop abruptly at a constant speed, and then it's going to move out at a constant speed. So changing this characteristic of the graph will change the acceleration and this deceleration of the uh, object traveling on the curve. Now, if you want to switch between the graph editor and the dope sheet, you can press Control Tab to do just that. All right. So hopefully this uh, tutorial is useful, and uh, you can maybe apply it to your animations. All right. Thank you for watching.